What's going on guys? Mike back with Horror Junkies and another trailer review. It's been a while guys. It's been a minute. Um, but I'm going to review the movie Stream. Um, the trailer. Um, guys, this doesn't come out till August 21st of this year. Um, the cast is stupid. Stupid good. Um, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> like, wow, you guys are going to be blown away. Um, it comes from the producers of Terrifier 2, Mr. Damien Leone and Mike Levy. Directed by Mike Levy, who has a part in this movie, which I'm sure he has parts in pretty much every movie he, has, he is involved in. Um, but the cast, wow, it's huge. It's huge. And I'm, I'm not going to name off everybody, guys, because that, the cast is this big. But the, the, the people that stood out to me, I'm going to name them. Um, and first, we're going to go to Danielle Harris, uh, who you guys would know for Halloween 4 and 5, Rob Zombie's Halloweens. Um, she was in a Hatchet series. Um, she's done things other than horror, like Mark for death or the last boy scout. Her resume is massive. She is a phenomenal actress. Um, great, great actress. Uh, the next person, D Wallace. And guys, if you don't know who D Wallace is, you probably are not a true horror fan. Cause she's known for the movie Cujo, uh, critters attack. Her resume is massive. She's done so many things and she's great. And I know what you're thinking. I ain't never heard of her. She's old. She's too old. <laughs> she's great. Um, and she's one of the top people on this list. Other than Mr. Candyman himself, Mr. Tony fucking Todd. Yes, he is in this movie. Candyman, The Crow, the list goes on and on. He is probably the biggest name on this fucking, on this cast list. The biggest. He's been in a hatchet. He is just, it just goes on and on. His, his resume is huge. And let's just not forget Mr. David Howard Thornton, who plays Mr. Terrifier himself. Now, I'm going to argue with you guys because I don't know what you, how you feel about David Howard Thornton and the Terrifier series, but I'm going to tell you this man is right up there with Jason, Freddie, Michael, Pinhead, Leatherface. He's there in two movies, in two movies. A man that can get on screen and not say one fucking word and put out the performance that he does. He's great. He is fucking great. He is one of the greatest to ever do it. I'm just, I'll argue with you. I don't care what you think. Um, but let's just go and get into this trailer right fucking now. We can't trust anybody here. Anyone I'm going to be in on this. Whatever this is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we are running a game. Our game, I admit, is a rather unusual one, but I can assure you that it will be far more entertaining than anything you have ever been a part of. So, buckle up. Let's play ball! There's an old saying, curiosity killed the cat. Although it doesn't really apply in this situation because your curiosity has no bearing on whether you live or you die. Just how painful it's going to be. Showtime! Blood on the ground means points on the board. So there it is, guys. Wow. Um, so what I've read up on this movie so far is that uh, 
there's this family who are out to take some kind of getaway uh, and they stay in this hotel with well, this hotel gets locked down by these people who are playing a game um, and the people playing the game have to come up with the most creative kills to kill everybody in this hotel. So that's that plot. There's pretty cool. Um, I kind of like that. I don't, uh, I don't assume or I don't think we've gotten anything kind of like that. Um, the cinematography and everything looks pretty good. The lighting looks great. Um, David Howard Thornton himself, I did read up that he is player number two. Um, so obviously he's going to be one of the people in the costumes, the mask. Um, more than likely, you're not going to hear him talk. Hopefully we do so we can get to hear what kind of actor he actually is when he uses his voice. Um, I don't know that he can go his whole acting career with not saying a word in a row. So far, it's actually worked for him. So we never know. Um, that might just be the kind of role he loves to play. Um, we don't know. Hopefully, guys, they do not put a whole nothing else out about this trailer or this movie. I don't. I don't want to see any more trailers. Um, but that's the world we live in these days. They ruin every fucking movie with trailers for the most part. Um, now Damien Leone and Michael Levy are really kind of hush hush about shit. Um, just like terrifier three, they put out a teaser and they're probably going to put out a trailer and probably that'll be it. Most of, Every other movie that comes out, they ruin it by putting out trailer after trailer after trailer. And every trailer, they show more. And when they show more, they ruin the fucking movie. That's just, that's just what they do. Um, and honestly, for Terrifier 3, if they didn't put out any, any other trailer, just the teaser that they put out already... I'd be happy because I'm going into this movie blind and I, and I don't know what to expect, but most of them you already know. And you're like, you get in the theater and you see it and you're like, well, they could have left that out of the fucking trailer. And, and that was one of the important moments that they, they fucked up for me because I seen it before I got here. I seen it before I paid my money and I've kind of heard that about Abigail. I haven't seen it yet, um, but I kind of heard that that's where it's at. You know what I mean? And I fucking hate it. It's fucking terrible because I reviewed Abigail and I, I thought it looked really good, but from what I'm understanding that it, it's, they ruin it in the trailer. So, Let's just hope they don't do that with this or Terrifier 3 for, for that. Um, we just have to see, guys. Uh, it looks interesting to me. I like the plot. I think it's really fucking cool. Um, we just got to see. Um, we'll have to wait till August. It's a long way from now to August, so there's no telling what they'll put out. Um about this movie. So let's just hope they don't ruin it. Like most production companies fucking do or movie studios do. They, they just like to ruin shit for everybody. And then when you go to the theater, you see it and you're like just fucking appointed because you've already seen the whole fucking movie in the trailer. So why even do it? So that's going to be it for the review on the trailer stream. Guys, like always, I definitely appreciate you getting in, checking out my video, leaving me comments. Really appreciate it. Horror junkies could really use the thumbs up and the subscribes. So keep it up, guys. It's getting better. Much love. This is Mike with Horror Junkies. And I'm out.
Ooh.